Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. Some of the newest Xiaomi phones are coming out with their latest user interface, MIUI 14. What's it all about, and how is it different from the previous MIUI 13? Let's dive in and find out. Xiaomi is coming out with plenty of phones this year, as usual, and most of them are running MIUI 14 out of the box. These include mid-rangers, like the Redmi Note 12 series. And you also find it on the top flagships, like the Xiaomi 13 Pro. MIUI 14 brings a familiar Xiaomi look and feel on top of the typical Android experience. Some of the phones we reviewed recently are running it on top of Android 12, and some on top of Android 13, but we didn't notice a difference in features or looks. Xiaomi's approach to software development allows them to implement new features regardless of the underlying version of the Android OS, but this means they are missing some of Android 13's few user-facing features. And compared to the previous MIUI 13, MIUI 14 is all very familiar. Let's cover the basics first, and then I'll highlight what's new. You get an independent notification center and control center, accessed by swiping down from the top corners of the phone. You can also disable the control center, and get more of a typical Android notification shade. You can either keep all of your apps on the home screen or enable an app drawer, which has a search bar and can automatically organize your apps into categories. It's worth noting that the Poco variant of Xiaomi phones have the app drawer enabled by default and you can't disable it. The task switcher shows all of your recent apps in two columns. Tap and hold on any card for the split screen and pop-up shortcuts, or just swipe it left or right to close it. There is a floating windows button too. The smart sidebar is an expandable menu on the edge of the screen that stores shortcuts. Apps launched from here will automatically be in a pop-up window. The sidebar becomes a video toolbox once the system detects a video player like YouTube, offering some useful shortcuts. A useful feature is the background playback, which lets YouTube videos continue playing even if the phone is locked, as if you had YouTube Premium. However, there is no advanced desktop environment when connecting to a larger screen, like Samsung's DeX or Motorola's Ready 4. Many of the functions within MIUI are provided by Google's App Suite, but you get proprietary Xiaomi multimedia apps, such as the Gallery, the Music app, and Mi Video. And there's a security app and a Xiaomi file manager as well. And many Xiaomi devices feature an IR blaster and have a smart remote app, through which you can control various appliances. There are plenty of options for you to customize your notifications and how they appear. And through the theme store, you can customize the look of your home screen and get new ringtones and always on display styles. These features were all found within the previous version too, so what's actually new here? Actually not a whole lot, at least on the global version of the UI. The most notable changes you'll find on the international MIUI 14 are the under the hood optimizations. The interface is built using a new system architecture and is supposed to be much smoother and more efficient. As far as actual new features though, pretty much all you will find is large folders on the home screen, which lets you organize your apps and still have their icons directly accessible. And that's about it for the international version. But in China, MIUI 14 actually brings a few other features. One of these is the app behavior log, which keeps track of each app's activity and actions in chronological order. The Chinese MIUI 14 also brings new widgets to the home screen in various shapes and sizes. There's also the option to merge duplicate files, which you don't get on the international version. And remember Tamagotchi, those digital pets? The Chinese MIUI lets you keep something like that on your home screen. It's too bad that users outside of China will miss out on those extra features, though there's always a chance they might come to us through a software update. Speaking of software updates, Xiaomi has committed to certain years of support for its key models, but it's not among the fastest to provide those updates, and the situation is much less clear in the mid-range. So overall, MIUI 14 is a pretty smooth experience that is very familiar if you're used to the previous MIUI, but with more optimized performance and large folders. At this point, Chinese users get a little bit more, and hopefully we get the new features globally, either with this version or the next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.